One element that is often used in West Coast-inspired modular synthesis is the short two-stage envelope. The attack decay envelope is a critical component in the creation of the percussive, plucky shapes that many identify with the West Coast sound, pairing well with sequenced patterns and rhythms. Many modules have been designed to fulfill this need. For instance, the recently released ADLFO from Maleko, a bank of six attack decay envelopes, capable of complex summing and looping. Other attack decay envelopes, like Maths or the Envelator, add voltage-controlled modulation to manipulate the envelope shape over time, which can add more expression to the shape. With longer four-stage envelopes, dropping the sustain and release values to zero effectively removes those stages from the shape completely, leaving nothing but the attack and decay stages. If we start to apply this in our software synths, we should see the same activity with the built-in ADSR envelopes. Let's load operator in Ableton and take a look at the amp envelope on operator A, which should show up by default. Notice when you play a note and hold it, we get a sustained tone. Lower the sustain volume all the way. Now when you play a note, it should not sustain beyond the decay time. Shortening the decay time will result in more percussive tones, perfect for bukla bongos. If we apply the same envelope shape to the low-pass filter, turning up the envelope amount and turning down the resonance, we start to get closer to that West Coast sound. We can also use the LFO MIDI Max for Live tool, clip envelopes, or automation to alter our envelope shape adding some musical modulation to the sound. How are you manipulating your envelopes? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.